My name is Glenn Tendley. This is Jonathan North. Uh, we're going to demo an exercise that we call the Death March. It's a very good uh, conditioning tool for almost any sport. Um, it focuses very heavily on the posterior chain, all your hamstrings, glutes, lower back. It also brings the abs in a lot more than you would expect. I'm going to have John go ahead and pick these uh, dumbbells up and demo. Okay, go ahead. That's done correctly. That's how we want to see it done. Um, there's two mistakes that people normally make uh, when they do this. The first one is that they turn it into more of a walking lunge with a lot more uh, flexion of the front knee. So I'm going to have you do with that. Go ahead and keep your back upright and bend the front knee more. There you go. Go ahead and stop. That's a great exercise, but it's not what we're trying to accomplish. What we want to accomplish is to get as much hip work as possible when we do this. So we want you to actually bend over to touch the dumbbells or the kettlebells or whatever you're using. We don't want you uh, lunging the weight. We want you bending, bending over to touch. The second, and this a lot of times happens when people uh, use too heavy of a weight, is that instead of a normal walking gait, they, they turn into something very disjointed where they're taking extra steps or they're not actually lifting the dumbbell up as they're taking a step. So go ahead and do that. Okay, go ahead and stop. That was also that was also incorrect. What you want is you want a nice, smooth walking motion, the most natural walking motion that you can accomplish only with bending and touching the dumbbells every time. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way here, and I'm going to have John go all the way down and all the way back, which we would consider one set. Uh, he's going to go about 20 yards one direction, turn around 20 yards the other direction without stopping, and uh, so you can see what a whole set of the death march looks like. That is what a set of death marches should look like. As I said before, it's a great conditioning tool that not only uh, help, it helps with your conditioning, but it also is a very, very good posterior chain strengthener.